What's going on guys, it's Caitlin here and I'm back today. I'm back with another video on the channel and today we do have the first episode of the RTG. It does feel uh, a bit wrong that I'm doing it so late considering how much progress we've already uh, made on this account and it's pretty insane how much progress we actually have made on this account. Uh, I did start it off on Twitch but now I have decided uh, to bring it to YouTube a bit later uh, than I would have wanted to but uh, yeah at least it's finally here. Uh, we'll begin the progress together starting from this point on all the way uh, until the end of FIFA and as you can tell from the title we do have a squad builder and we will be completing the Nabil uh, Fekir SBT. He looks absolutely uh, insane. Gameplay will be tomorrow uh, only. It will be the foot champs uh, playoffs. I'm pretty sure I do need to qualify. For foot champs, I'm going to try to get some elite division rivals gameplay as well. Uh, it's very hard to find games where I'm from, so I'm going to try to uh, get that for you guys as soon as uh, as I can. Because, I, like I said, I grinded all the way from division 10 uh, to the elite division on, um, on Twitch. So none of the gameplay will be on YouTube. Everything will be starting um, from right now. But before we do get into... Uh, the squad builder, I should say. Uh, we do need to go to the squad building challenges uh, to get Nabil Fakir. I already completed um, all the squads, so I don't uh, leave you guys brain dead of me trying to actually do this. It always takes me a very long time to complete squads. Uh, this SPC costs around 105,000 coins, I think, on PlayStation, or around 100k. Uh, and yeah, it's a really, really good card. Uh, we'll have a look at his stats right here. He has 85 pace. Um, 85 shooting, 85 passing, 88 dribbling, as well as 82 physicality, and uh, being a 4 star, 4 star, he looks insane. Everything is great on his card except for his sprint speed, uh, I would say. I think I would have to play him centrally, but in my team, I don't know uh, how I'd actually do that. His player traits are power free kick, uh, finesse shot, flare, outside of the foot shot, chip shot, and technical dribbler. He looks like an insane player that I can't. Uh, way to use on the RTG. I haven't done him on my main account, uh, so I do look forward uh, to using him on the RTG. Like I said, all the squads uh, are already completed. 70 km, 83 rated. Team of the week player, Tiliska, cost us like 12,000 coins, I think. Uh, yeah, 12,000 coins. In total, I did complete um, this SPC for around 45,000 coins with having most of the players uh, already in my club. So let's go ahead and submit this first one. Hopefully, we can get um, some coins back from the packs, um, hopefully anything near 46k, so we could have, uh, maybe got him for free, but yeah, 86 rated team, one French player, and 65 chem, I did get rid of a CDM, this could be a bit of trouble, boys, who did I get rid of, I think I got rid of Fernando, I could be wrong, did I get rid of Fernando, let's have a look, oh, I knew this would happen by mistake, oh, no, oh, no, 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 He's 84 rated, I'm pretty sure. If I can remember correctly, I did get rid of Fernando. Let's have a look. It looks like it was Fernando. I wonder, I wonder how much he is on the market. I have 2,200 coins. Like I said, having coins on the RTG is a bit tough. Okay, no, we can't afford him. Can't afford him at least. I've literally wiped my club uh, clean of coins, trying to get the best possible team. Um, for this upcoming weekend league, we did manage to get... Rank 1 again, you'll see some of the players um, that we did get from rewards in the squad builders today. Uh, I revamped the whole squad and uh, yeah, like I said, we'll be starting all over um, again technically or starting from this point on moving forward um, until the end of uh, FIFA. Of course, we're going to continue the RTG for as long as possible. But yeah, let's submit this 86 uh, rated team. I had most of the players again. The only players I bought were Loris and you saw Fernando now as well as um, Trent Alexander-Arnold tradable and then Loris for 18k and uh, yeah that's the team that is Fekir complete he looks insane I've only been hearing great things about him I plan on coming out with a, a player review on him so if you guys want to see that make sure to smash the like button and obviously let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see um, a player review on this Fekir I think there's a few days left to complete him but here he is about to walk out um yeah, hopefully he does get the upgrades with uh, with betters coming up. And this could be a pretty insane card, I must say. I should have probably watched the walkout animation. But yeah, there he is. We can get straight into the um, the squad builder for the RTG in just a second. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Starting from scratch, Parejo and Jordi Alba out the team. Um, my bench players are really good. So I have Foden, 
um, untradeable that I did get from Rivals Rewards. Uh, Pomacano from a two-player pack. Renato Sanchez as my super sub. Romero, red player pick. David, red player pick. And Rafinha uh, should be on my bench, but we also got him um, as a red player pick on our... It was uh, this week's red picks, of course. Now, starting at goalkeeper, we are starting them in the 4 triple two formation. It is going to be um, Ariola. I don't think goalkeepers matter too much in this game. Again, he is untradeable. Um, so I decided to make use of him at right back. We have a big player um, at right back. It is going to be Kyle Walker, who we did pay um, 64,000 coins. I think I got him for a very good price with the shadow. I think. I could be wrong. Um, I think he's around 65k or 60k or so with the shadow. I think that was a very, very good price for him. He's one of the more um, expensive players uh, in the squad. I always say in all my squad builders that you guys have seen, I always try to go uh, for very solid defense in every single one, as I think always defense does uh, win you games. But yeah, AdSense back, getting that perfect link to Kyle Walker. Also on a shadow card, we have Gomez. Now, I don't really rate Gomez in this game, but he is very cheap right now. I would prefer someone like a Kimpembe or a Militao, but obviously Gomez does get that link to uh, Kyle Walker on the right-hand side right there. And then... Switching league, we are going to go with an untradeable player, uh, someone who I've gotten uh, 20 and over in the first weekend league, Kunde. He's played 64 games with me, uh, scored one goal and actually assisted one. He has high high work rates, 5'11", and just an all-around solid um, centre-back in my opinion. And now at left-back, another really expensive option. It is going to be Furlan Mendia, top three uh, left-back in the game. I would say him, Alfonso, and... Um, Theo Hernandez are the top three left backs in the game. So again, I had to go with a very solid defense, a very expensive, but uh, solid defense on the RTG. It looks really, really good in uh, my opinion. Now, our two CDMs aren't actually going to be uh, CDMs. We're going to start off with the main man, Sadio Mane, who we did get red player pick on our very last um, red player pick in our rank one uh, weekend league rewards that I did post uh, just before this. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy to try this card out. I haven't used him at all, untradeable. Very excited to use him. I will take you guys through um, the tactics and instructions and the formation I will be using um, with these guys because I don't think I actually have it set up on this um, squad just yet. So I'll obviously take you guys through that as well. And then partnering um, Mane there in the midfield. He is actually a sensor mid. Again, a top for top 5 sentiment in the game. It is going to be Frankie De Jong. Another solid player. You guys have seen him in all my squad builders. He's just so, so good uh, to not have in the team. Then at Cam, you guys probably saw him there already. He's not a Cam. He's actually a center mid. And it is going to be Marcos Lorente. The best goal sentiment in the game. Had to get him in the team. A very solid midfield. A very solid defense. And uh, we do have Mane as our striker. He will play as a striker in um, in a 4-4-2, uh, which is the formation we are going to use. Now, at Cam is the man we just completed uh, an SBC for, and it is Nabil Fekir. Now, he's going to be off Cam. He's probably going to be on 7-8 Cam. Uh, so is Mane. So is one other player in the team. I don't want to spoil that just yet. But yeah, Mane, Fekir, and one other player will be playing on 7 Cam in this team. Now, at striker, I think I bought him as a striker. Um, Memphis Depay, his inform card is so good. I use him on my main account because I do have him red. But uh, I'm hoping this uh, normal card plays similar to his team of the week card. I only hear good things about him. If there was a way to put Correa in the team, I probably would have done that. But uh, Memphis will have to do right now. And to round up the team, we do have the main man himself. Um, he is a right forward. You could probably guess who it is from the thumbnail. Usmane Dembele gets that full chem to uh, Depay. Fakir gets 8. Mane will get 8 once I get a um, Prem manager. And uh, yeah, this is the team, guys, on the RTG. It's pretty insane. No one would have expected um, to get a team like this in two weeks. I definitely didn't. Obviously, getting Mane red pick helped uh, the team out a lot. And uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy with the team. Like I said, I want to do a player review on Fekir. If you guys also want to see one on Mane, maybe I could make that happen. And um, yeah, like I said, very happy with the team. Solid midfield, solid defense. Uh, this account will mainly be used for um, foot champs games, uh, playoffs, completing SBCs, player reviews, 
And uh, yeah, Elite Division is going to be very hard to find games, like I said, in my region. So it'll be very hard to get gameplay with these guys. But I'll obviously have um, the playoff games for you guys where I will be doing the, the player reviews and so on. Obviously, Foot Champs highlights will be very key um, for these RTG episodes, uh, which you guys will be getting probably next week after I'm done um, playing Weekend League on this account uh, this weekend. So expect... All of that to come very soon. This was more of uh, an introduction episode to the RTG that will be going on from this week uh, until the end of FIFA, like I said again. But if you guys want to see more RTG content, I want to get into trading um, as well. I started doing it on my main account. I'm very interested um, in trading right now and I'll share everything I've learned um, over the past week or so. I've just joined the SAF trading discord has been helping me a lot i did manage to make a few hundred k on my main account just in the past week or so so if you guys are interested in that i will leave the the saf trading um discord in the link below so you guys can also make coins just like me but if you guys want to see more rtg um stuff more rtg episodes more rtg stuff in general please make sure to smash the like button comments what you'd like to see next on the rtg whether it be player reviews um elite division rivals uh gameplay in general you guys can obviously just let me know down below make sure to subscribe we are on the road to 1k yet again and uh we are almost there i think we need like 150 or so uh subs and then we are there and make sure to turn on my notifications to be notified as soon as i post and i'll catch you guys in the next one